Don't you usually tear a pheasant at lunch with Miss Lamont? Now look, Kathy. All that stuff about Lamont and me is sheer publicity. Oh, it certainly seemed more than that, from what I've read in the columns and all those articles in the fan magazines. You read the fan magazines? Oh, I, uh, I glance at them. In the beauty parlor. Yeah. Oh, dentist's office. <laughs> well, I only buy four or five a month. <laughs> and, well, you do achieve a kind of intimacy in all your pictures that would lead all one to believe... All my pictures? <laughs> I guess now that I think of it, I've seen eight or nine of them. But I still insist, if you've seen one, you've seen them all. <sighs> I did say some awful things that night, didn't I? No. I deserve them. Of course, I... I must admit I was pretty much upset by them. So upset that I haven't been able to think of anything but you ever since. I've been a little upset too. Kathy, uh... Seeing you again... <laughs> Now that I've... Kathy, I'm trying to say something to you, but I'm, uh... Such a ham. Well, I just can't do it without the proper setting. What do you mean? Wait a second. A beautiful sunset. Mist from the distant mountains. Colored lights in a garden. A lady is standing on her balcony in a rose trellis bower flooded with moonlight. We had 500,000 kilowatts of stardust. A soft summer breeze. And you look lovely in the moonlight, Kathy. Now that you've the proper setting, can you say it? I'll try. Life was a song, you came along, I've laid awake the whole night through. If I ever dared to think you cared, this is what I'd say to you. You were meant for me, and I was meant for you. Nature patterned you, and when she was done, you were all the sweet things rolled up in one. You're like a plaintive melody that never sets me free But I'm content The angels must have sent you And they meant you Just for me
hand The angels must have sent you And they meant you Just for 